Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So as you guys see the title, this is um, skin, makeup, and hair part dos. So this part um, is the part of that I will be showing you um, what I've been doing with my hair, what I've been doing, what are my favorite products that I've been using, and some of, some of my favorite products of all time. Um, if you guys want to see the skin and makeup uh, favorites, it's going to be in the link in the description box be really showing you the products that I've been using lately that have been working for me and that I've been loving as well as I'm going to be answering some questions that I've been getting on YouTube regarding hair care and hair products that I recommend and I'm going to be answering those questions in this video so stay tuned this video is not going to be too long it's not a lot of products but um, there's a lot of information in here so Stay there. Do not go anywhere. So we're going to start off with shampoo and conditioner. Now, if you guys know, I love Pantene. Um, there's a few reasons why I love Pantene, and it's because it's affordable. Uh, the fragrance in the Pantene makes my hair smell so delicious. Like, I wash my hair, and I'm like, hmm. At the same time, it keeps my hair really soft, which I love. Um, but I've been wanting to try new things for a very long time and I have been so I've been leaving the Pantene a little bit to the side and just grabbing it when I need it um, so um, that's that also I use because of my colored hair you guys know I use purple shampoo which hasn't been working for me like my brassiness has been like I'm coming out and I hate it so I haven't been using the purple shampoo I have been just toning my hair it lasts a lot longer the purple shampoo is just messy in my shower but I know it does not work for me I have used it on my clients um, which when the hair is a lot lighter than mine and it works really really good on lighter hair from level 10 and up on my hair it's not doing anything for me I where I want to cancel my brassiness is up here on my roots which it um, kind of comes out I'm gonna be explaining those things in another video as far as um color theory and things like that but I just wanted to touch touch bases on the purple shampoo thing um, the shampoo that I've been recently using I've only done two shampoos with but I have really really liked this product and it is this is the shampoo from Organics, uh, formerly known as Organics, and now it is OGX Beauty Pure and Simple. This one is the Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shampoo. Um, the reason I like it, number one, it smells like coconuts, and I love coconuts and I love vanilla scents. So this, right, when I bought it, I didn't really smell that. I just went for the Brazilian Keratin Therapy because that keeps my hair nice and straight. But when I, oh my God, when I put this on my hair, I'm like, oh my God. Like, I fell in love with this product and I have been using it for like a month because I washed my, no, not a month. I like three weeks. Um, I don't wash my hair as often because of my blonde hair and because I try to keep my hair in a bun as much as I can. My life is too busy and I wash my hair like every six to seven days. So anyhow enough about that um so i've been really 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 liking this um shampoo and i and this is not a new product but it's new for me because i have never used this i just now started using it and i like it i really really like it i also purchased the um ogx renewing argan oil of morocco conditioner now this is like i thought pantene was good but this is so good my hair you guys know my hair is really really curly and because this process is really dry and it's like straw sometimes so i need a conditioner with a lot of moisturizer a lot of oils in it so that way it will condition my hair and it will make it a lot more manageable and i can actually detangle my hair better so um this these i'm i'm telling you I'm, this has what 20, 25 ounces i'm gonna go through this rather quickly and for now i'm loving this i am loving this so if you guys have hair like mine i would highly recommend that you go out and buy it and even if you don't this is sulfate free 
and this will do wonders on your hair if your hair is processed if your hair is um right now like unruly and frizzy i would recommend that you use this product so um another product that i have been using um for shampoos and conditioners um is from shea moisture now you guys know um i have been working with shea moisture so I have to explain something to you I'm not being sponsored by Shea Moisture they just send me products for me to use because I do events with them I work for them as a independent contractor um, but I am NOT being sponsored for this video these are my own opinions and I hope that you guys can understand that um, if you guys go back and watch a video that I posted about my hair care routine I showed you guys that I was using Shea Moisture's um, uh, Yucca and Platano anti-breakage uh, line. I will tell you I did not like that product. Um, I made my hair feel harder than what I like it to feel. Um, so I decided to try another line from Shea Moisture and I will show you what it is. And here it is. And this is not too old but it's in stores already. And it's a biotin precious oils and complex with subaki oil and opuntia extract. I'm probably butchering these names, but uh, they're freaky names. It's a um, natural pro color care conditioner. I also have the shampoo, so this I just left it in the shower. Um, but this is the benefits to this. Um, it says porosity balancing anti-fade protection and damage recovery it has no sulfates no parabens no phthalates no mineral oils and no ethyl silates um most of their products are cruelty free which i love the animals um and this product in conjunction with the mask um are so good they make your hair so soft so so soft so if you guys can go out and purchase this or you don't have to purchase everything that i'm saying i'm just saying like whatever works for you i'm just telling you what works for me because i don't stick to one product like i have to try them all so there you go uh the next one is the same line by shea moisture and this is the coco shea biolipid complex and agave nectar and black seed oil rehydrating hair mask yes it's a deep conditioning intestine rehydration strengthening mask I like this so much and there's two reasons one it is it smells delicious I, I love scents the next reason is because oh I use this on a client of mine that has severely severely damaged hair and what I did was I took a about a spoonful of this and I mixed it in with a little bit of olive oil I mixed it in and put it all over her hair after I washed it put it in the dryer for 20 minutes take her out of the dryer let the hair cool down then wash it out with a little teeny bit of shampoo and that hair oh my god was like reborn I um, really like this for hair that is really really damaged really really dry the ends are like this like this sticking out at you um i would highly recommend that you get this mask this is a really really good mask and it's by shea moisture affordable 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 products and they're cruelty free so can't beat that so that's it for actual shampoos and conditioners i'm going to tell you right now about my dry shampoo you guys know i've showed i showed you in a the last video on how to extend your blow dry i use the chesame dry shampoo um which i like um but i wanted to try different types of dry shampoo so i went out and i purchased in another brand dry shampoo which is detox actually this is by dry bar and this this is the detox dry shampoo absorbs oils and impurities leaving hair feeling fresh and clean I have used this only once so I can't really say that it's any better because this is a small bottle compared to the Tresemme and it was the same price 
so i can't say that i love this one more i love this one more i don't know yet i just wanted to show you that i'm trying out different products to see what works so i can show you guys what works and you guys can go purchase what works instead of spending your money like i am <laughs> so that was it for the dry shampoo I um as far as um hair care goes that was that for that the other thing i wanted to say to show you guys was um a you guys have seen this in my other videos but i have to show you this is a favorite video duh it's the moroccan oil products now i will tell you i don't like their shampoo and conditioners they're not for me it's not that they're bad it's just they're not for me um i like I have, I'm very specific about my shampoos and conditioners, but their Moroccan oil treatments, their glimmer shines, their curl cream are like my favorite products from Moroccan oil and I cannot say that enough. You guys are lucky that now these products are available for retail because when I started out, they were not. You can only get it when, you know, if you were a salon owner or you worked at a salon or you, you know. Um, or you are professional that was the only way you can get Moroccan oil products but now they have opened their products to the public which is absolutely fantastic and you can actually get this at the Moroccan oil website also on Amazon and I'll put a link below um, I have an affiliate link that I can um, give you guys if you guys want to use it or if you guys want to go straight to the website it's up to you but um, this is the glimmer shine and I use this after um, there you go I just love how shiny it makes my hair it smells delicious and um, you know a little bit goes a long way I will only pump two pumps of this and just distribute it all over my hair and it works absolutely fantastic fantastically everything I just love these products um, one of the hairsprays that I really like is the Tresemme perfectly undone collection is the ultra brushable hold and it retails about four or five bucks at your your local um, either departments, not departments or um, pharmacies, Target, Walgreens, etc. But I like this hairspray because you can spray it on your hair when you do curls, like like that, and it does not leave your hair hard. Like I can put this on my hair and I can still brush it. Look, I just put some on and I can still brush my hair. So um, if you guys are interested in getting a hairspray that won't leave your hair hard and on like sticky this is the one um the last product i wanted to show you is something that i've been using but um it's not available to retail it's not available for retail it's not available to you guys this, this is for strictly hairstylists colorists or salon owners that can purchase this product and that is the olaplex Olaplex has has saved my hair. It has saved my client's hair. I have purchased about two of these little bottles, and I am now um, I, I have now purchased the bigger one. But Olaplex is designed to really protect your hair when you're lightening your hair. You can actually put it in your shampoo. Like you can put a treatment in with Olaplex, a very small amount. Um, mixed in with water and a little bit of shampoo it, it's like your hair is like reborn and um, the downside is it's not available to you guys it's only available to professionals um, but nonetheless if you go to a salon request Olaplex it's gonna cost you a little bit more but it's gonna save your hair trust me it's gonna save your hair my hair is like I lighten my hair a lot because I, I just like to be blonde and on my clients head um once olaplex started coming out that's what i use on my clients and the hair does not break the hair is protected so that's a product that i have been using for a while but it's one of my favorite go-to products as a colorist so that was it for the products that i'm loving some are old some are new um and i will definitely keep you guys updated as to what these um products do for me in the future if i still like them if i don't etc um so now we're gonna get to the questions part of this video i had a subscriber ask me basically 
how to tame frizzy hair and that question i will answer it in a few ways the one thing that you have to remember is where you live your climate your uh what products you're using your hair tendencies your hereditary how you how you are um basically your nutrition what you're eating what you're drinking it's a mixture of things but the easy way is hair care of course and drinking lots of water but the products that i would recommend for you that was asking me about uh, what to use for to tame your frizz your frizzy hair and to make your blowouts last is get a shampoo that really has um, a lot of rich um, oils in it so that way the oil will tame your hair as you dry your hair also the conditioner must be the same um, once you wash everything out you have to put something in your hair to help it tame your frizz now products that I use to tame my frizz is Moroccan oil like that is my holy girl if you cannot get your hands on Moroccan oil use argan oil you can use another trick is coconut oil you can get that worldwide it's sold everywhere try to get some coconut oil put a little bit on the palm of your hand distribute it and put it all over your wet hair then you dry your hair and that will tame your hair a lot um keep in mind that if you have a lot of hair or longer hair you're going to need more product obviously but to answer your question you must 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 um moisturize your hair in order to keep your frizz under control um and to make your you know your hairstyle last you longer also use a heat protectant you can use any heat protectant that you choose the coconut oil will also act as a heat protectant but after your hair is dry you don't want to add more oil to it you want to use something more water-based like a Tresemme product they have a heat tamer spray um also john frieda has a heat tamer spray whatever is available in your um um in your area just go down to your walgreens or cvs or whatever it is that you have where you live and look for a heat tamer spray or a heat protectant spray and those products combined will help you tame your frizz so to answer your question um, there's a lot of things that you must do but you must do them because if that's what you want then you have to follow the steps basically the next question that I have been getting a lot of is about my hair care routine and what products I've been loving, which I already went through that. Um, but basically my hair care routine, I will tell you this right now. I have processed hair. I used to relax my hair when I was a child and I stopped relaxing my hair about five years ago. I am now 35 years old. <laughs> I'm 35 years old, I stopped relaxing my hair five years ago. And I didn't regret it. My hair is not as coily or coarse. Um, the thing is that I have Dominican parents and they did not know how to comb my hair. And the first thing was, oh, relaxer. Um, but I did not need a relaxer. My hair is not that um, coarse. And I haven't regretted it since. I do color my hair, as you guys can see. I love my hair blonde. I even considered going brunette, but it's just not going to happen anytime soon. Um, and I have come to that realization that I was born to be blonde. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, sorry, I sidetracked. Anyhow, so my hair care routine is basically what I showed you, th these products. But the other thing is I condition my hair twice a month. M meaning that I will use any mask, any deep conditioner, any treatment. The trick is that I add olive oil to it or Moroccan oil to it or coconut oil to it I would add any oil to that mask or that treatment I will mix it in and I will put it on I'll put a cap on if I have time I'll go on the, the dryer if I don't have time and I have other things to do I would just leave that cap on for about an hour and then I'll go wash it out always shampoo if you're gonna add oils into your mask always shampoo after even if it's a quick shampoo because you don't want your hair to be like this like you know it's when it's like oily and nasty like dead you don't want that so you if you put a lot of oil in your hair then you must shampoo it out um if you don't add oils into your mask then you don't have to shampoo again just um, rinse the product out 
and style as usual either you can leave it wet or you can dry whatever your preference is whatever floats your boat do it so we have come to the end of this video and i hope that this video was as helpful for you guys as i intended it to be and again if you have any questions that you guys want to ask me this is what i'm here for i want to give you my expertise and um the things that i like and that have been working for me um so thank you so much for watching for watching thank you so much for watching all of my videos i appreciate you guys so so much tell me what you think about the background do you want to i mean do you like this color do you like it on me like please tell me because i need to know i need to know what you guys like i will eventually my next video i'll show you um some background um from my studio but um nonetheless leave me your comments subscribe please 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 sub subscribe comment below share like yeah all of that all that, all that i'm just trying to be funny but it's just like it's a little late and i'm tired but anyhow i love you guys so much um and i appreciate you guys and i won't keep talking because i'll keep talking the whole night so have a blessed blessed day wherever you are um and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much